What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today we are going to do, hopefully, the last little bit of Tower of Oblivion. So, previously you saw a struggle through, we saw a new feature where you can click next in Tower and it literally just brings you to the next fight. I didn't know that was a thing. But we are up against an Aspen Wave, which is going to be very, very interesting. So, I think we're going to keep our lineup pretty much like we normally do. Our uh, very offensive Russells. But we're going to throw in an Amon Ra. One, because she has a curse as well. But the big one, in my opinion, is that two layers of unbending. Or not unbending. The... Oh, I, forgot, I forgot the name of her ability. Granted, they're already all knocked off. So, maybe we actually want to run her without energy. So that we have the layers of shields for this round coming up. Because that's going to do a lot of damage. Okay. No, I think we got this. Because we're going to have shields coming from Amon Ra. We got pings from two Russells. And we got the Rogan providing healing as well. Yeah, actually, I think we got this one pretty, pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, I think we got this done right here. We're going to get a heal. And then this Aspen is probably going to die. Yeah, just going to die due to the Amon Ra. Amon Ra coming in clutch right there. Really easy. So, yeah, this is a new feature. You can literally hit next. And just jump into the next wave. But here we are, guys. We are on the very last wave, 650. So let's take a peek. Let's look at how other people did these waves as well. Again, looks like this is the exact same wave that we have been seeing constantly. So I don't know if Russells are going to be able to do this one. Harry's, Amon Ra, Ada's, they seem really strong against this wave. We don't want any healers, really, which is another reason why Russell's might be weak to this, just because of the number of shields. But we'll test out and see what type of damage they can do here. Okay, interesting. So end around damage did quite a bit there. Let's take a look and see what Pixie did on this one. I mean, double Amon Ra, double Ada, carry Unimax. That seems to be the, uh, the go-to here. The carry with the energy drain actually very very significant wow look at all that all those healing curses are literally just killing this team running a double ada double amon Ra for end around damage seems pretty brutal on this wave so we will try it with the russell army we'll try it and then if it doesn't work we'll go ahead and we'll do something more conventional with adas and amon Ra's and maybe a couple baby carries as well just to see how it works out yeah i mean this wave looks Pretty simple for most people, so let's see if it's simple for Barry Gaming as well. <laughs> let's just run what we had for the uh, for the Aspen Wave as well. All right, let's see what happens. Two petrifies on the Adas is pretty clutch, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough burst here. I think we might to be able to kill all the Amon Ra's off, which is gonna be the big pain in the butt. Okay, one's gonna be alive. Okay, all right, so let's... Oh, no, we're pinging the Ada first. All right, I mean, it is what it is. We should kill one of the Adas here. Then we go towards the Amon Ra. I don't know if the end around damage from the Adas is going to be too much. I think it is. I don't think this Russell is going to get another active off. He might, especially maybe with Rogan's healing, but oof. Yeah, no, that's going to be too much. Let's go with something a little bit more conventional here. Let's do our own double setup here. And actually, you know what? Before we do that even, let's come back in here. And I actually want to run two baby carries to see how it works out. Really don't care if they have gear on, honestly. They're, they're probably just going to die immediately. But what we're going to do, we're going to run a couple baby carries, a couple Amon Ra's, and then we're going to run the two Adas just to see if we can get something similar to work for our lineup. I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty decent idea, so. Mm, okay, all right, not too bad. I figured that Amon Ra would go down pretty easily. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. Maybe we're going to have better luck with the Russell army. We'll see. We'll do some fights with a more traditional lineup and then see how it goes from there. Oh, this one looks very promising here. This one looks really, really good, honestly. I think we I think we just did it, honestly. <laughs> yep, that was so simple. Baby carries. I mean, honestly, we probably could have done this with like two 10-star Amon Ra's, two 9-star carries, and like an Ada and something else. It's just the Adas do so much damage. 
in Tower of Oblivion. Man, oh man. So what are we? We're like sixth. Yeah, we got 650 done. Once you get past like that Oberon wave, that's really the really tough one. I really wish I could have showed you that wave, guys, but man, oh man. So we got it done. So as a recap, mostly, mostly the heroes that are the best for completing tower, because again, by completing tower 650, when the void mode comes out in the new void PVE mode, you are going to get additional stats in that PVE mode, the void only. I don't think it's going to stretch anywhere else, but you will get additional stats for essentially having 650 done kind of makes it a little more of a priority because of course the higher difficulty that you can do in the new pve mode the void you are going to get more resources and you're going to be able to build those void heroes faster so as far as the gg heroes unimax unimax is kind of like that overall best hero to use for tower in general um he has so much utility especially if you have a ruby scepter especially if you have an upgraded ruby scepter it's really good um sherlock you know i haven't seen too much of him doing stuff in in tower but a lot of people that have sherlock's kind of have already finished it i'd be interesting to see what you guys think about sherlock in tower as well um as far as abyss goes there's really no great hero cruz can be an awesome support for his stun especially if you have a Rui scepter even if you don't I mean, he has a 75% chance to stun all enemies for two rounds. That can be absolutely huge in tower because most tower fights only go like three to four rounds, I'd say. And having the enemy stunned for two rounds, essentially half the fight can be absolutely huge. So if you have like even a, I mean, nah, a, a nine star cruise is kind of what you need to get this last passive here. The active at 10 star doesn't really matter. The nine star portion is, is really the big part here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at 9 star it levels up. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be 10 star, but you know, it could be. Garudas, um, I've never really seen people get by with Garudas in tower. It seems like Garudas actives and everything just don't do enough damage. Olivia can be a great support to finish out tower as well. Her shrink, her healing abilities, things like that can be really good. Rogan, like, I mean, I know you guys saw us use Rogan an absolute ton, but let's be honest rogan is just there for the buffing power the crit the attack crit damage that's really all he's there for on a normal team probably not that good now when we get to the light and dark heroes carry this girl is probably probably neck and neck or maybe even better than unimax when it comes to an mvp of trial of the champion so building carries will be amazing for finishing it out of course, Amon Ra's are another god tier unit because she literally just absorbs and heals your team for the damage that would be dealt to them while also putting those healing curses. And so many waves in tower have healing, uh, healing power. So that could really, really help your team out. And you know what? Aspen can do pretty good as well. His active damage can be very, very powerful, especially because it's uh, he has, you know, eight current HP abilities things like that he is very very strong um and then of course when it comes to the light russell a couple like even one or two russells i don't think is going to do much the only reason why we could use our russell is because we had four of them but let's be honest bell rain's not amazing in tower the true mvp of tower as far as damage dealing goes is ada ada is just absolutely crazy she has mark damage that does percent HP, which is crazy. She also has healing that works great for sustain. She has basic attacks that do percent HP as well. She has healing built into that as well. And she has that end of round damage that, I mean, let's be honest, that end of round damage is just crazy. You could probably say most of the ways people clear are because they have one to two Adas. Two Adas, two carry, and some filler heroes. I mean, that's like, that's pretty GG. Granted, I know a lot of people aren't really building the Adas anymore because she's not quite that god tier meta hero in PvP. She still has a lot of uses. Ton, a ton of uses. So definitely consider that. But yeah, guys, we uh, we got our Tower of Oblivion done. Sadly, it took us a lot longer than other people. We came in six, but I kind of ignored this for the longest time. But 650, it's done. Hopefully some of these things could have helped you. 
Uh, I hope even the little previews, the ones I showed you of previous clears could help you because let's be honest, a lot of people, and nobody really has my team. I think I've w seen one other per person with four Russells. So the Adas, the Amon Ra's, the Carries, the Unimax, they are amazing. So hopefully this one helps you guys out. I can't wait for the Void to come out and I'll see you guys next time.